Okay, everybody. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to give everyone a few more minutes to jump in and then we will get started. If you're just joining us now, make sure you have a water bottle, your towel, your stealth if you have it. If you don't have it, it's okay. There's lots of things we can do um, to modify without. So your towel, your water, a chair. If you have a chair, bring that along. And also, we're going to be talking today about getting down to the floor and getting back up. So if that's a tricky one for you, grab a couple pillows or a stool, and I'll show you some modifications there. So let's give everyone just one more minute to jump in. Thanks for joining me. It's good to see you. You ready for a, a good 20-minute sweat session? All right, me too. It's time. So hopefully um, you can see me okay. This technology thing is, uh, is working my brain over here, but I think we're going to get it. Okay, so let's get started. It is 12 o'clock. My name is Gina Mancuso, and I am here in my home studio in Philadelphia. It's very fancy, as you can see. I'm going to do my best to make sure that you can see me at good angles the whole time. Thank you for having me. It's been really fun to do these sessions with you guys. I really appreciate it. So if you're just jumping in, have your stealth, your water bottle, your towel, a chair if you have it. It would be great if you do. If you don't, it's okay. We'll get by without it. What um, I want to talk about today regarding our micro workouts are a couple things, balance and mobility. Uh, and we're going to work on those two things in, in our, our micro workouts, and then we're going to work those into our circuits. So before we get started even with our warm-up, let's talk about this exercise that I love, um, sit down, stand up. And I'm going to just adjust my camera a little bit. I do this exercise with all my patients, ages 5 to 95. Being able to get up and down from the floor is a really important skill, and it incorporates lots of things. So I'm going to show you the way I do it, and then I'm going to show you some regressions and some progressions. So sitting down can be as simple as squat down, get your butt to the floor, get your feet underneath you, and stand back up, just like that. Now, sometimes it's hard to squat down like this, right? If we don't have the hip mobility or the knee mobility um, or the balance. So if that's difficult, another way to do it is to Use your hand to help. So you're gonna squat down here, get to your side, and now you're in that same position. You're sitting. To get back up, we're just gonna reverse it. Turn around, get to your feet, and stand. So we'll do that again. Hand down, turn to your side, sit. And to get back up, a couple ways. You can get all the way to all fours, to one foot, push to stand. Okay. If you just don't like going to the floor, just right here, down to the chair and up. A chair might be too easy though, so let's talk about an intermediate step, which is something lower than a chair. If you have a couple pillows, great. A step stool or the bottom step of your stairs, same kind of thing. Sit down, and now you don't need as much mobility in your hips or your knees. It's a little bit easier to get your center of gravity over your base of support, which is your feet, lean forward, and push to stand. So that stool can be as high as you like it. As you get stronger and more flexible, drop the height of the stool or the pillows, and soon enough, you'll be getting down and up from the floor, just like that. Okay. So we're going to use that exercise in, in our first circuit. In our second circuit, we're going to be working more on balance and hip mobility. If you have a chair, great, or if you're standing at the counter, or you can even use your hand on the wall for balance, you're going to um, have your side against the chair. That inside leg, this leg that's closest to your support service, turn your toes out a little bit. This will open up your hip. You're going to lift the opposite leg and kick, like you're sliding your leg across a table, pull your knee to your chest, and kick up. You might not have the hip flexibility to get your leg up this high, it's okay. 
work where you can. If your hip is flexible and strong enough to kick here, kick here. If you can bring it up horizontal to the floor, great. If you want to challenge your balance, take your hand off the chair, kick this way. The final exercise we're going to do in these circuits is a back kick. So it starts here, balance, hinge forward, kick back, use the chair, and then come back to stand. To make it a little more difficult, reach your arms out, come back to stand. So those three little micro workouts can be done anytime throughout the day. Give yourself a minute, sit down, stand up from the floor. Give yourself another minute. Do these side kicks and the back kicks. Okay, we're gonna incorporate all of those into our workout, but first we're gonna warm up just a little bit. So let's start here, really easy. Yep, just like this. Up in your arms, good job, strong. Um, if you want to take this into a jog already, go right ahead. You guys keep going. I just want to make sure that you can see me okay. Good job. Okay, keep moving, guys. You're in that jog or you're stepping strong. Yep, here's your little jog. We're getting the cobwebs out. We're going to work hard today. We've got some moves on the stealth. Our circuit is going to be three or four different exercises for 30 seconds each. The first time through, we'll just run through those four exercises. The second time through, in between each exercise, we're gonna do a little 30 second cardio first. Okay, let's go here side to side. Good. Getting some lateral movement in, that's it. If you're ready to jump and you want a little more intensity with this one, go ahead and make it a hop. Yep, that's it. Or just stay low, keep going, use the arms. Yep, that's the way. Nice job, guys. Big steps. All your muscle groups going here, let's pull. That's the way. If you wanna hop, go right ahead. You're looking so good, keep it going. Good job. We got another 30 seconds. Yep, then we'll have our heart rates up and we'll get right into it. We have about 18 minutes of work today once we start our circuit. Okay, let's rest right here. Squat down and up. Hold tight, reach out. Good job. Yes, yes, just like that. Remember with the micro workouts, all that means is your exercise time adds up. If you can do a two minute circuit in the morning and another two minute circuit at noon, a couple more two minute circuits throughout the day, all that counts. Good, rest and shake it out. Okay, grab your water. Make sure your self is ready. If you don't have your self yet, it's okay. You can hold the plank. I'll show you some variations. All right, we're gonna start this first circuit real basic. We're just gonna hold a plank on the stealth on our elbows, 30 seconds. Then we're gonna get up and do that sit down, stand up exercise I showed you at the beginning. We'll go back to the plank, 30 more seconds, 30 more to sit and stand. The second time through, we add a little cardio burst in there. Okay, are you ready? Good, grab your trainer, we're going stealth. Plank on elbows, right here. So remember, your back is nice and straight. Your core is engaged. What does that mean? Tighten up your glutes. Yep, nice and straight if you prefer to be on your knees. That works too. Good, you're nice and strong. Shoulders right over your elbows. Tuck your hips under, we've got less than 10 seconds. Hold strong, two, one, and rest. Good job. To your feet. We're going to sit down, stand up in any way that you want to do it. Right here, tuck your feet underneath. If you want to use this technique, use your hand, sit down, turn back around, stand up. If you've got a couple of pillows and you want to sit down to your pillows or to a chair, good. Keep going. Sit down 
That's the red. If you want some more intensity on this one, get one more. And we'll come through it again. Once you stand, you can add a jump back to your stuff. Okay, this time we're going on our hands. Just a straight hold, 30 seconds, just like that. Strong and solid. Good. Tighten your glutes. Tighten up your thigh muscles. Yep, press your hands strong into your stealth trainer. Good work, guys. Hold it, hold it, hold it. You're halfway through this 30 seconds. That's the way. Stay strong now. Breathe and hold, breathe and hold. You got five seconds to go. Looking good, team. Looking good. And rest. Okay, we're going back to that sit down and stand up. I'll show you on my pillows this time. You guys go ahead. Down and up. Sit down. Head way forward. That's really going to help me just pop right back up. Down, head forward, over my feet, and up. Good job. Keep going. If you're using a different technique, remember you can do it this way too. Turn to all fours. One foot up, stand up. Get right back down that same way. Okay? Good. Let's get 10 more seconds. Up. Nice job. And down. Good. Rest. Nice. That's the circuit. Now we're going to add some intensity. In between each of those moves, we got a 30-second cardio burst. All, all we're going to do this time is just a strong run in place. Are you ready? We start with a basic plank on elbows. Time starts now. Here we go. 30 seconds. Just hold. Strong, strong, strong. If you're, if you're used to this stuff and you've been using it for a while and you want to get some more work here, add some intensity by rotating like a steering wheel, side to side. If you prefer to hold either on your toes or your knees, that works too. We got three, two, one. Good job. Get to your feet. Now, here we go. 30 seconds. Strong and fast. You're driving your knees to your chest. Pumping your arms. Let your elbows come behind you. If you're not doing high impact work, make it a march. Stay low. Stay pump. You don't have to run. You can keep it a march. Good job. You're almost there in three, two, one. Rest. Now we're going to sit down, stand up. Just 30 seconds at your own pace. Maybe you get five, maybe you get two. Whatever you do, just keep moving. Doesn't matter the technique. Use whatever technique you like. Get down to the floor, get back up. If you're using the chair, that's okay too. Down and up. Use a pillow. Use a stuff stool. This is your last one. And then we're going back to a plank. On your hands this time. Yep. And here we go. It's 30 seconds. Nice and strong. Tuck your hips under. Good. Glutes are tight. Shoulders. Nice and strong. That's the way. If you want a little more work, you can turn on this one too. Make sure you're in control of your lower back. Good job, guys. Keep going, keep going. That's the way. Go, 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 go. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Let's get some cardio. Run strong. It's just 30 seconds. You're either running or you're marching real strong. You decide. Keep it going. Good job. Just like that. Yes. When we're done here, we got one more round of sit down, stand up, and then we'll get a drink. Good work. Hang on, hang on. You got five seconds. Four, three, two, time. Good. 30 seconds. Down to the floor and back up. That's the way. Down and up. Nice job. Another way. 
that some people find easier is on the way back up. Cross your feet. That helps you get your head in front of your feet. Center of gravity. Over base of support. Good job. We got time for a couple more. That's it. Make this your last one. And then you get a drink. Good job, guys. Time and rest. Nicely done. Good work. Let me check on you. See if anybody has any comments. Y'all doing okay? You're looking good. All right. Let's go to circuit number two. While you're catching your breath, I want to show you. Make sure my camera is aligned here. All right. So this time, we've got some fun things to do here on the shelf. You're going to do 30 seconds of a plank. You can either hold that plank on elbows, plank on your hands, or I'll show you some variations if you're ready to mix it up. After 30 seconds on a plank, you're going to put your belly right on the step. Okay, try to get your belly button right in the middle. Feet are wide. Hands are wide on the floor. You're going to lift. Opposite arm and leg. Okay, opposites. It takes a lot of control. As you do, as you lift right arm and left leg, you're pushing your left leg and your right arm opposites into the floor real strong. After 30 seconds, we'll get up to the chair and we'll do this side kick for 30 seconds and then this back kick for 30. You ready? Okay. It starts in a plank. And uh, it's just 30 seconds. Now I'm going to go here on my elbows. Can either hold it here nice and strong if you want a little more work. Let's tilt just forward and back. Good job. Forward and back. Nice. Hold it strong, team. If you prefer to do this one on your knees, go right ahead. Watch your fingers up here. Don't put them on your knee. You don't want to pinch them. Put your hands right on top. Good, rest. Now, go to belly on the stealth. Yep, feet are wide, hands wide. Point your nose right to the floor, and you're gonna lift opposite arm and leg. Good. This one's deceptive, guys. Try it. You might need to play around with the position of your body on the platform. So that you can balance. Good job. This one's tricky. Keep going. We got 10 seconds. Nice. You got it. You got it. And rest. Good. You're gonna come up in your chair or your wall. Remember that support leg pointed inside about 45 degree angle. Your leg is up. You're pulling knee to belly button, kick back out like you're pushing your heel away from your body. Doesn't matter where you are there. If you're down here, that's okay. If you wanna work on your balance, let go of your hand, knee to chest, and kick it out. Keep going, we got another 10 seconds, and then we'll go to that back kick. Good job. Yes, looking good, three. Two, one, step down, face your support, this time up and stretch out. Good, try to make your body in a nice straight tabletop from your heel to your head. If you're going to add your arms in, same thing, stretch, good, you're almost there, keep going, keep going. This is your last one, and rest. Good, back down to the stove. We're going 30 seconds. This time we've got that little cardio burst in between. So pick your poison here, guys. Find where you wanna be, on your hands, on your elbows. I'm gonna go corner to corner on this one. All four corners, corner to corner. Stay in control. Good, we got 10 more seconds. And then we're going to go to jumping jacks. Not yet, though. Good work. That's it. 
Good, get to your feet. We've got jumping jacks. Right here with the legs and here with the arms. Watch the toes and knees, guys. Knees go right over your toes. You don't want to do that. That's really hard on your knees. Toes out, knees out. If you're not jumping, you're stepping. Either way works. Just keep moving. Good job. We got five more seconds. Yep. Three, two, one. Good. Back down to the floor on your belly. Okay. Find your spot. We've got 30 seconds here. Alternating. Opposites. Arm and leg. Keep your nose pointing to the floor. And really use your hand that's on the floor and your foot to help you stabilize. You're pressing strong into the floor as you lift the other arm and leg. Good, you've got five more seconds here. That's the way. And rest. Come back up for jumping jacks. Let's get it. Yep. Good job, guys. You're moving. I like it. Keep going. Keep going. That's the way. Nice work. You got this. Remember, if you're not jumping, you're stepping. A tap out to the side. Good. Five, four, three, two, time. Good. To your support. Toes turned out. Leg is up. Pull knee to belly. Kick in and out. That's it. If you're working on your balance, take this hand off or just use a fingertip. Let that support leg hold you up. Good job. Come on, team. Come on now. Get five more. Four, three, two, and one. We got jumping jacks. Let's get them. Yep. Good job. Breathe and go. Breathe and go. Watch those knees. Watch those toes. If this doesn't feel good on your shoulders, you can always press like this. Sometimes that jumping jack motion is hard for the shoulder. Two. One. Time. Good. Face your support. Nice and tall. Lean. Balance. And come back up. Yep. If you're working on your balance, go without your hands or just barely touch that chair as you go. Make your support leg do the work. Good job. You got less than 10 seconds. That's the way. Nice job. Two, one. Let's get these jacks. Here we go. 30 seconds. Now we're working. You guys a little sweaty? Me too. Keep going. Keep going. That's it. Yes, yes. Arms can be here. Yep. Feet can be here. Either way, you guys keep going. Five, four, three, two. Time. Good job. Rest. We've got one more circuit. Do you have a drink? Yep. Let me check. See if everyone's doing okay. I see a comment that it might be hard on your knees. So if you want to reach back out to me, I can give you some modifications. Happy to. Okay. We got one more circuit. This one, guys, is the same thing we just did. Except when we get up, we're going to use the other arm and leg. Sorry, the other leg for balance. So if you need to switch your chair so you have enough room, do that now. Yep. Good job. I'm going to slide over. It's going to start plank on your stealth. I'm going to go straight arm with a couple variations. And then we'll go to the belly. Okay, we've got 30 seconds. Are you ready? Straight arm, plank. Here we go. Hold it here. 
or add your variations in. I like this one. Make you focus. Good. If you want to make this a little harder, narrow your feet. Pull your feet together, make them closer. You can lift one foot up. You've got five seconds. And then we're going right to the belly. Three, two, one. Good. Down on your belly. Opposite arm and leg. Here we go. Lift and lower. Good. Find that spot. That's the leg. Keep going, guys. Nice work. That's it. That's it. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Get to your feet. We're going to go side kick. Balance. Toes turned out. Lift and kick. Good. Use the chair, the counter, the wall for support. That's it. Doesn't matter where you're kicking, but really pull that knee into your chest. Pull in, kick out. Pull in, kick out. Keep going. We've got 10 seconds here. Good job. Challenge your balance. You can let go. Two, one. Rest. Change your angle. Now we're going to go here. Knee up and kick back. Good. Use that chair or the wall, whatever you have for balance. Good job. Keep going, guys. You're probably better on one leg than you are on another. So don't be surprised if you have some asymmetries. Keep going. Another 10 seconds here. I know I do. This left leg is tough for me. Keep going, guys. Three. Two, one, and rest. All right, that's all four exercises. We're going to go through one more time, adding that 30 seconds of cardio. This time, our 30 seconds of cardio is that lateral step or lateral hop, whichever you like. Okay, so we're going to start in a plank. 30 seconds on your hands. Let's go. Good job. Keep your variations in here now, guys. If you want to tip forward and back, forward and back. I like that one. Good. If you just want to hold the plank, make sure your core is tight. Stay in control of your lower back. Stay in control of your shoulders. Good. Three, two, one. Let's go to your feet. We're going lateral hop here. Yep. If you want to keep it a step, nice big step. Move quickly back and forth. If you prefer to hop, that's it. Good job. You got this. Keep going. Keep going. Big step. Go, go, go. Get your cardio. When we're done here, in less than 10 seconds, we're going back down on our bellies. Four, three, two. Time. Good. Here it comes. Your belly. Yep. Alternating. Opposites. Go get them. Good. If you try to do this one with your arms, your hands, and your feet narrower, it's also much harder. The wider you go with your hands and your feet, the more stability you have. Keep going. We've got 10 seconds here. Yep, we're going to get back up on our feet in five seconds and do that lateral hop. Ready? Go. Here it comes. Lateral hop. Let's get it. Yep. If you're not hopping, you're stepping. Either way is okay. Get your heart rate up. We're almost done here, guys. We've got just a couple minutes to work. That's the way. Go, 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 go. Yep. 
Big step if you're not hopping, either way, get your arms going. Five seconds. Four, three, two, time. Stay here. On your feet, we're going to do that side kick. You ready? Good, right here. Kick inside. Yep, just like that. Work your balance without the hand. Good job. Knee to chest. Pull in. Push out. Good work. Go, go, go. You got this. Five, four, three, two, time. Here we go. Last chance to lateral hop. Oh, no, that's a lie. We got one more chance after this. Keep going. Keep going. Big steps. Hop if you want to hop. Good. Stay low if you want to stay low. That's the way, team. Come on now. You got it. Good work. Keep going. Keep going. Yes. Three, two, one. Face your support. Knee comes up. Stretch forward. And stand. Good. Working your balance here, guys. This is your last chance for balance work. After this, we have got 30 more seconds for that lateral hop. Then we stretch. Nice job. Come on, come on. Less than 10 here. Yep. Five, four, three, two, and one. Yes, let's find that lateral jump. Okay. 30 seconds. This is it. Come on. Like you mean it now. Yep, like you're working for something. Let's go. Get it. Doesn't have to be high impact. You can stay low. Get a big step. Move fast. That's the way. 10. Go get it. Get it. Yep, yep. Four. Three. Two. And time. Nice job. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Hey guys, we're going to finish with one more plank. Let's see what we got. We're tired. We're sweaty. Wipe the arms off of your, your sweat off of your forearm. Get back down. Let's see what we can do here. 45 seconds. What do you think? Give it your all. If you need to stop and take a break, do that. And then just jump right back in. Abs are tight. Glutes are tight. Squeeze your butt muscles. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Your thigh muscles are tight. Drive your elbows real strong into that stuff. Take a break if you need it for two or three seconds, and then jump right back in. We're almost there, guys. Breathe and hold. This is when it counts. This is it, that little extra push. Let's do this. Yes. You got it. Ten more seconds. If you want to, work in your extras. Yep. You got five, four, three, two, five. Nice job. Good work. Woo. You did it. Nicely done. Guys, feeling okay? All right, let's get a little stretch, okay? Ooh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm working hard. Let me just... Adjust my camera a tiny bit. We'll stay on our feet. Yep. Right here, take a nice deep breath in. Stay tall, breathe out. Good job, if you have that chair nearby. Your back leg is straight, press your heel to the floor. Use that chair and just lean into it. You're gonna feel the stretch in the front of your back leg. Yep. Good job. Step forward a little bit. Rock yourself back. That front leg is straight now and you're pulling your toes up to the sky. Feel the stretch in the back of your leg. Hamstrings, calf muscle. Good, come up. Let's go the other way. Opposite leg goes behind you. Use that chair for balance as you push in. Feel the stretch in the front of your back leg. Good, now step in a little bit. 
pull your toes up on that front leg. Your knee is straight as you sink into it. Feel the stretch in the back. Looking good, guys. That's the way. Yep. Step together. Right here where you are, lace your fingers. Stretch. Round that back out. Good job. Now up tall. Go the other way. Take your chest out. Drop your hands. Reach for your feet. Yep. And one time. Let's breathe in. And breathe out. Oh, guys. Nice work. Thank you. Thank you. Saturday workout. Looking good. You got the rest of the day to sneak in a few micro workouts. Go get that. I'll stick around here if there's any questions. I will try to respond or I can give you some um, modifications for later. So thanks again. I'll keep an eye on these comments for a couple minutes, guys. Otherwise, stretch out a little bit more, get some water, and if it's sunny where you are, get outside and get some sunshine. It's beautiful in Philly today. Good job. Looking good, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. And Stell, thanks for having me. It's been a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. I was having fun using the stealth on my own. I didn't realize just how much fun it could be um, in this way, Facebook Live. So I appreciate it. Looking good, team. Good stuff. No more questions? Okay, guys. Thanks again for being here. I appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. See ya.